Welcome to 74 in 74. We tell you what's coming up in our very own independent cinema this week and welcome to 2023. This is our first of the year. Um, it's hard to know where to start this week with so many great films featuring in 74. Um, so let's start with Corsage, a film which took me by surprise. Uh, I thought I knew what this would be like, but it completely blew my idea out of the water and presented itself as an intellectual, amusing and satisfyingly contemporary film starring Vicky Cripes, um, who we saw in Bergman Island, which featured here in Studio 74 last year as Empress Elizabeth of Austria, whose world is shaped by formality, ceremony and very tight corsets. She's caught between what is expected of her and what she wants to be. And we land at a point where it's time for her dismantle, to dismantle the structure and take ownership of her legacy. It's written and directed by Marie Kreutzer, who's short, who shortlisted for Austrian's Academy Awards. And Corsage is a fascinating watch uh, and it really won't disappoint, highly recommend. Three minutes a lengthening will join us for a few screenings this week. This unusual and emotionally charged documentary offers a glimpse of the lives of a handful of Jewish people who were captured in um, a piece of 16 millimeter film. Shot in 1938, the footage of the film is based on a book by um, author Glenn Kurtz, who chanced upon a home movie which was shot on holiday in Poland. Um, so the fact that the family and the people we see in this film are unaware of their future, which devastatingly we do know about as the family were moved to Treblinka where they were murdered um, for being Jewish. But the moment is captured um, which shows joy and reminds us that we are witnessing a home movie. There's references to the digital reconstruction and the tracing of the history that we see in the film. And this documentary is a small victory in keeping uh, Jewish pasts um, alive and bringing them back to life. Return to Dust is a simple Chinese film about a couple forced into an arranged marriage who must try and make a life for themselves. Um, and against all odds, a bond develops between them and their life grows. This film was pulled from Chinese, Chinese streaming sites, uh, I believe for showing a poor depiction of Chinese life, but Return to Dust has been really well received by UK audiences. Um, and it's a really beautiful film filled with human connections. Moon is Daydream returns for a few extra shows this week after lots of people asking for it. So I hope you can get a second chance to watch this or maybe it'll be the first time you'll get to witness this film uh, in the cinema. Um, again, won't disappoint. And finally, we welcome the second of many Kurdish films to Studio 74 uh, in partnership with Exodus Kurdish Community. So we're showing Neighbours, um, a film seen through the eyes of a six-year-old boy who's living on the Turkish-Syrian border. Uh, set against the backdrop of war and settlement. Um, and it's set in the 1980s when a new teacher arrives at the local school and the Kurdish way of life is suppressed, which confuses the young children in his class. This film is loaded with humour and peppered with light moments, which um, gives some relief between the darker drama. And it's a very rare chance to glimpse a film like this um, and experience examples of Kurdish life on screen. Screening times and more online.